Welcome to Behind the Law with Justin Clark, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Law. I'm here with attorney Justin Clark and Robert Palmer, and today we are talking about Under One Roof, a program where you actually have a support team behind you from the time you start looking into your credit, the time you start applying for the mortgage, right on through the closing when you actually have representation sitting at the closing table with you. We hope that you'll stay tuned this hour, a very exciting hour, and next week the show will be following up on this same conversation with attorney justin clark and robert palmer are you ready all right let's get started what's up newt good to see you good to see you too it's been a while since we've been in this studio it's been a long time it's good to have rp on the show again great to have yeah, RP. Glad, glad to be here guys appreciate you having me on love coming to do the tv show with you it's always a pleasure it's a lot of fun right the lights and uh yeah. I, I didn't shave today this first time i apologize to the tv audience i just didn't have it in me this morning that's the hawaii 5 you know what i mean i just didn't have it in me this it morning. is sunday you know i think, I think people understand that you, know, you give up your sunday to come in here and give out free advice you, you may exactly. not have to shave every single week you, you got it but so under one roof program is what we're going to talk about today and mm-hmm. it, it's a, a pro program that helps people get back in the housing market okay we, we talk about this all the time when's the time to buy the market's up it's down the interest rates for mortgages are up or down when's the time to buy let me tell you if you look back historically now is the time to buy what, what are the interest rates right now i know they're going up but historically where are we yeah i mean we're still in the mid fours you know we've talked about this a lot too i think going into fourth quarter is an even better time to buy because it's when everybody else is not buying you know, you see this, Justin, it's supply and demand. When everyone else is buying houses, now you have increased competition. You know, the summer is the traditional time to buy, which means everybody's buying. So now you're fighting against buyers on houses. And how many people out there had to overpay? They, they paid five, ten thousand 10000 above listing price because they were competing with a bunch of other buyers. Come fourth quarter, that slows down a little bit. And now all of a sudden, you can get a couple percent off list price. Now, you can do a little better when you buy a home, I believe, in fourth quarter. And then, too, you know, under one roof, you get an attorney in your corner. That gives you even more negotiating power. There's all these great things. That, that make now even a better time to buy on top of very low interest rates, still in the mid fours, and still low house prices. Even with the jump we've seen in values, they're still low. What, what the Under One Roof program really is, is it's a four-step process, Rob. Mm-hmm. I, and I know we've talked about it before, but number one, we're going to look at the credit. Let's see what we can do to get your credit to a point where you can get a mortgage to buy your house. Number two, and I think very importantly, we're going to handle the contract negotiations with the realtor. You know, in Florida, for whatever reason, we don't need lawyers to buy houses, all right? Yeah, yeah just d- d- make the biggest purchase of your life without having a lawyer. And let's remember that Florida is one of the states that had the absolute worst real estate crash and has the most <laughs> I mean, foreclosures and one of the worst situations. And I think some of that's attributed to this lack of having a lawyer involved. And that's why I'm really mm-hmm. excited about Under One Roof oh. and getting a lawyer in there to help home buyers make a better decision and not get in a situation that leads to another financial crisis. I mean, let's look at the states where you don't need lawyers to buy houses. Arizona. Nevada, Florida, Michigan. Look what happened in these states. I mean, it's all it's, the ones that led the way into the demise. You know, I'm a lawyer in Massachusetts as well. And in Mass, what do you have to have to buy a house? A lawyer. And, you know, the crash there wasn't nearly as bad. Now, I get it. There's some other things going on there. But I don't think it's a surprise that in the states where you don't have to have a lawyer help you th- for the, through the process to see what happened here. We're going to take a short break, but before we go, are you struggling to make your mortgage payments? Refinancing your mortgage is an easy solution that can save your home. And Justin Clark has worked on literally thousands of such cases. Just give the offices of Gregory and Clark a call right now, 321-282-1055, and a free consultation with Justin will give you your options. We'll be right back. If you're having any legal problems that could cost you your home, remember that the offices of Gregory & Clark are your one-stop shop for saving your home. Short sales, foreclosures, bankruptcy, refinancing, it's all under one roof. Just give them a call right now at 321-282-1055, and you can schedule a free consultation. We'll be right back. The attorney is there to work for you and is not dependent on the sale of the home, so they can give you impartial advice. And I think a little bit impartial advice goes a long way when it comes to buying a house. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. 
Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. A lot of these toxic mortgages, I, just, I can't see you know, some of the crazy toxic loans that were being done in 2005, 2006. I don't see too many lawyers just signing off on that. You know, And if nothing else, a lot of home buyers misunderstood. They thought that loan that was a negative amortization, meaning the payment didn't even cover the interest, they thought that was a 30-year fixed loan. And oh, it was yeah. really an arm that was going to blow up on them. And this is where you have an attorney involved. All of a sudden, the attorney says, well, no, th this is this is a really bad loan. You probably shouldn't take it. And you don't just have a, a mortgage guy sitting there trying to sell you because he's going to get a big, fat commission, and a real estate agent trying to sell you because they're going to get a big, fat commission. The attorney is there to work for you and is not dependent on the sale of the home, so they can give you impartial advice. And I think a little bit of impartial advice goes a long way when it comes to buying a house. You know, my job in the Under One Roof program, it, the, my only job is to protect my client. That's it. I don't care about the realtor. I don't care about you. I don't care about the title company. My job is to make sure my client gets the best deal they can get. I don't want to hear any more about uh, low-fee mortgages. Oh, yeah, a low-fee mortgage? Really? No, no, no. My clients are paying no fees on their mortgage. And my clients are not going to pay for that termite inspection that the seller should be paying for. And, it, and it's little things like this that add up. We're talking about four, five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 on each transaction that in the past, mortgage guys, real estate people have been getting away with it. We're not getting away with it anymore. That mm -hmm. part, that t the time is over. And when I see these mortgage guys advertise, we have really low fees. You have low fees? Why, why would I pay any fee? Uh, exactly. I'm there not, there well, should my, be no fees. We've, we've had a lot of conversations about this. <laughs> and, you know, Justin's seen the economics of, of how mortgages work. And there really is no justification for the fees. It, it's garbage. In the industry, they're called junk fees. You know, we waived all our fees four years ago. And people continue to be like, well, how, how can you do loans without fees? It's really easy. My question is, how does everybody else continue to get away with charging fees? It makes way more sense to not have them. Our job is to loan money and make interest on that money, not to gouge you with fees up front. And uh, the rest of the industry is starting to catch on. But, again, having an attorney in your corner – uh, you know, can, can make these differences. Two, we see so many people who come through and they don't understand their contract. They don't understand their inspection periods. They don't understand if they don't have an appraisal by this date, you know, if they don't have a loan commitment by this date. You know, a lot of real estate agents, unfortunately, do not explain the contract appropriately to the buyer. And again, that's where having that attorney come in to look at that contract and say, well, uh, we don't want to agree to this. We don't agree to that. We want to do what's best for our client. And most home buyers do not experience that right now. It's just kind of a fill in the blank type deal because, again, uh, an attorney, that's that's what the, that's what you guys do. Yeah. You're there. You're there to, to scrutinize these contracts and do contract law and do this. And so the biggest contract most people will ever sign in their life is on a home, right? That's it. You know, somebody goes to sign an employment contract that's worth maybe fifty, sixty thousand a year. They go hire an attorney. You know, they they sign contracts for all these other things. They want to hire an attorney, but buying a house, the largest contract you will ever sign. How do you not have an attorney involved? It, mm -hmm. it just doesn't make sense. Jennifer, how can we help you? Yes, um, I am in an interesting situation. I have paid my mortgage all this time, first and second mortgage. I have uh, HSBC, and they are not modifying any loan. They're not working with you at all. They have said that because I'm up to date, I could, I believe they have said I could do a um, uh, deed in lieu of, um, you know, walk away and uh, turn Who? the kitchen in uh, a deed in lieu of. Who is the second yeah, mortgage with? Isn't that the same as just walking away and giving no. them the keys? And how does that affect your credit? It's different. Who is the second mortgage with? Pardon me. Who is it? You ha you said you have a second mortgage, correct? And who is that with? I I have first and second mortgage with HSBC. Okay, both with HSBC. Let me tell you something about HSBC. They they're not doing loan modifications. I can't tell you exactly why, but we're having zero success with HSBC in doing loan modifications. So if indeed it comes down to the point where you have to get rid of the house, instead of, again, leaving the keys on the kitchen counter and saying, eh, take it, bank, I don't want you to do that. I want you to hi hire a realtor to do a short sale and hire a lawyer to negotiate the deficiency away. If you just let the house go, this could linger for years, and your, your credit's going to be bad for years. You need to consider a short sale or a deed in lieu of foreclosure. I'm just telling you that Nine times out of ten, the bank wants you to try to do the short sale prior to the deed and loan. Time for a break. But if you're having problems with your mortgage that could cost you your home, remember that the offices of Gregory & Clark are your one-stop shop for saving your home. Short sales, foreclosure, bankruptcy, refinance, it's all under one roof. Call right now, 321-282-1055. We'll be right back. Behind the Law is pre-recorded for TV, but you can ask your question live on the radio Sundays at noon on News 96.5. 
And if you need legal advice right now, Justin's associates are standing by. Just give the offices of Gregory and Clark a call at 321-282-1055. I'm taking the, the regular Joe consumer who's trying to buy a house, and now I'm giving them the power of knowing everything. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. A lot of what I do, is, and I'm going to be really honest with you here, Nude, okay? I don't think I've ever really told you this. A lot of what I do, yes, I'm going to make sure that you're not overpaying for mortgage, for the real estate stuff, all of that. And it's because I'm, you know, legally, yes, I'm looking at everything and making sure everything is legal. But also, what I'm also doing is making sure I'm taking the, the regular Joe consumer who's trying to buy a house, and now I'm giving them the power of knowing everything, basically. You know, the mm -hmm. power of, okay, so if this realtor that we're using really, really wants to get crazy on us here today, this realtor's never doing business with me again. If the mortgage guy wants to try to do something screwy on this contract, uh, we're never doing business again. I don't think people understand until they get you guys in their corner that a contract is not uh, all in one document that there are paragraphs that you can very easily scratch off if you don't agree with it initial it and then negotiate i think some people think oh i have to accept all 35 pages of that right. or the deal's done when actually that's not true but also i bring up the point how many people in our television audience have sat there at the closing and you felt like you were the odd man out? You're buying the house. Mm -hmm. You're the star of the show. It's your money. And it's the seller and the bank and the lawyers for the bank and the lawyers for the everybody else and the holding company. And they're all sitting around looking at you like you're the enemy and they're going, oh, just sign that. It doesn't matter. It never comes up in real estate. How many of those things came up, RP, in the big fall? Hey, let me tell you, in the, in the 15 years I was in mortgages before starting our, before starting RP funding, I, uh, I will tell you firsthand, whenever a customer had a lawyer, no matter what mortgage company I worked for, no matter where I was, if that customer had a lawyer, they would say, hey, we want you to send our closing documents to the law firm a few days before closing. And let me tell you, everybody was at like attention. Oh, yes. You know, that, that guy never, you know, no matter what the mortgage company is, no matter who's doing it, there are no hidden fees. There are no games. When, when you tell your mortgage company, your real estate agent, whoever it is, the seller, that you have an attorney and you want your attorney to review everything, all of a sudden, everyone takes you that much more seriously. And in the past, it's been very expensive to get an attorney, but now with under one roof, because of the way you're doing this, Justin, it's amazing. Amazing. Yep. You know, people can have you in their corner for under 500 bucks. It's just, it, it's amazing to me. It's, and it's a passion of mine too. I, I feel so good that there are no more little guys out there. People now have power. With, with me, people have power. You're not going to get pushed around anymore. And I love it. it it's, I, I think it's the rest of my career is going to be dealing with making sure the little guy out there who's making this huge investment is not getting pushed around ever again. There were so many people that fell prey, and you heard the stories about the banks, and you blamed the banks, but everybody kind of shared in the blame. If nobody asked the question, well, what happens to this loan over 30 years? Can it grow? What is an adjustable rate mortgage? Where's the cap on that? If you don't have these guys under one roof in your corner, you're in real trouble because they're the ones that know how to ask those questions. So, man, for that kind of money, you're getting a whole team in back of you and you don't walk in alone. You're not walking in all by yourself. 855-297-9696 is the number to call. Give us a call, 855-297-9696. Robert Palmer has a thought. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, Justin, a real big part of this, too, is that you're willing to help people to get ready to buy the house. You know, that's another big piece. You know, there's people out there that have had their credit damaged. Uh, you know, maybe there's some inaccuracies on their credit report. Maybe they went through a bankruptcy or a foreclosure and those things aren't reporting correctly. Or maybe they're in the foreclosure process and want to make sure it's done in such a way that they can get back into the housing market as soon as possible. And then the other big thing you guys do is hold them accountable. And a lot of people need this. You know, people need to be held accountable. And when you're in a situation where your credit is maybe not perfect, uh, just you know, paying your bills on time, making good decisions every month, and having someone to call, having an attorney to call who understands credit, who understands how this works. So you can say, hey, you know, Justin, I'm thinking about buying a car. You know, is that going to hurt my credit or help my credit? Hey, exactly. I've got this credit card, or I'm about to make a big purchase. I'm going on a cruise. Should I charge that to my credit card or should I not? You know, these types of questions where people can call you guys, and then two, the fact that you're following up with them to say, hey, it's the first of the month. Are we paying all our bills on time? You know, we want to get you into the housing market. We want to get your credit score high enough. You hold them accountable 
able to help and hold their hand so that in four or five months their credit score is through the roof and they're ready to go. Let's be honest. We have no magic wand with these credit companies, and no one does. Absolutely. And on the other side of this break, I want to sort of discuss the the credit situation and, and what it takes to get back in this market because it's not the guy on TV who's saying, call me, I'll fix your credit, everything's all set. It doesn't work like that. There's no magic wand. No, it's, 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 about, it's about making a good plan and working that plan and staying accountable to that plan. That's what you do with people. You sit down, you build the plan. Anybody who says, oh, we're going to get everything deleted off your credit, or we're going to come in there and, again, wave that magic wand, does not exist. The only way to fix your credit, the only way to repair your credit is to sit down with someone who's a credit expert, like Mr. Clark, make a plan – And then hold yourself accountable. And having someone help to hold you accountable to that plan, that's the only way you get your credit back on track. There is no magic pill. There's no magic wand. It's just about making a plan and sticking to that plan and being accountable. And that's what you guys help people do. We're going to take another break, but you can get legal advice right now by calling Justin's office at 321-282-1055. Associates are standing by. We'll be right back. The best way for you to borrow that amount of money is from a bank who can do a home equity line of credit, and then you can avoid all these closing costs. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. Welcome back. We're Behind the Law with Justin Clark of Gregory & Clark. You can call the offices right now at 321-282-1055. That's 321-282-1055. If you want to call the show right now, it's 855-297-9696. We're recording today's radio program for TV on replay for WRDQ TV 27 next Saturday. So we hope that you tune in then and you get to see these guys in person. Our special guest today is Robert Palmer, no stranger to those of you in Orlando, RP Funding, rpfunding.com. And what's that phone number over at the office? Yeah, you can call us uh, toll free at 855 RP Funding uh, or locally 407 802 3344. And his show is on WRDQ at 10 o'clock on uh, Saturday mornings. Also, you catch him at 8 o'clock on uh, News 96.5. You also catch him at 2 o'clock on Saturdays on News 96.5 and assorted other times. You're everywhere, man. Hey, just you know, trying to get the word out there, trying to help people save money on their mortgages. That's what it's all about. All right. When we left, we were talking about getting your credit to where you can buy a home. And this is something that Justin and Robert really, really work hard on to t- convince people. Don't run out to the credit repair agency. That is not the way to get it done. There are things you can do the time you pay your bill, when you pay your bill, how much your bills are that weigh heavily on your credit and can rebuild it very, very quickly. That's where we left off, Justin. All right, and and if you're on hold, please, I promise, uh, stick tight. We're going to get to you. And in fact, let's go to Ray in Orlo Vista. Let's go to Ray right now. Ray, then Robert, then Karen. Go ahead. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ray. Welcome to the show. Um. I have uh, two questions. One, my credit rating isn't the best in the world, and I've uh, inherited a home, and I need to borrow $20,000 on it, and uh, I I need to get my credit up a little bit more than what it is to qualify. I've been to uh, several lending institutions, and uh, you are one of them, uh, Robert Palmer, and uh, I was told by the person that I talked to there that you didn't loan anything under $60,000, so kind of puts me out of it there but what's the best way to get my credit up i only got two gigs against me but like i just not that i don't have credit i or not that i got bad credit i just don't have credit yeah let me i want to touch on the loan amount real quick and then justin can go into how under one roof may be able to help you with the credit uh, you know, when you go to get a mortgage, there's a lot of fixed fees you have to pay. We don't charge any fees, but we still have to get an appraisal, which is $350. And, and there's a title company who's going to do the closing, and they're going to charge a couple hundred dollars. And a lot of times we have to get a survey, which is a couple hundred dollars. And what happens is if you're only going to borrow $20,000, if you're going to pay $1,000 in surveys and appraisals and title fees and all these other things, I just don't feel right about that. And really the best way for you to borrow that amount of money is from a bank who can do a home equity line of credit, and then you can avoid all these closing costs. You you see, as a first mortgage lender, we have to do these different things that require these costs to appraisers and surveyors and to title companies, where a bank can give you a home equity line of credit with none of these costs because they don't fall under the same guidelines. So that's the reason we don't go too low. If there's a deal that really makes sense and someone can't find the loan anywhere else, we'll look at it, but we're not the best choice once you get down below 50 or 60000 and that's why we recommend you go to your local bank and get a home equity and, line of credit. And Ray, let me chime in here as well. What do we need the $20,000 for? What are we looking to do? 
when I inherited the house, I inherited it jointly. Right, but yeah. what what are you looking to buy with the twenty grand? Or is it just to get by, or what, what what's going on? No, it's to get the other person off the title totally. I see. Uh, it's been done. It's been registered, and it's on a temporary. They hold a mortgage sort of thing, and I just need to get that that portion paid off, and uh, get the house, you know. To where I can uh, totally own it with my wife. Yeah, uh, I, I think what you're probably going to want to do is you, you go to the lo- you go to your local bank, whoever you bank with, and, and talk to them about some sort of home equity line of credit or, or even a regular loan if you really need the twenty thousand up front. But it's 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 a little bit of a difficult situation, yes, because Robert is telling you, hey, I, I would like to loan you the money, but it's not going to do you any service because you're you're paying several thousand dollars to get the money. I think that's the problem. I think the local bank might be the place for you to go. Yeah, now, Justin, what, what could you guys do to help him with this credit? Again, it, you know, we don't want to use the word credit repair. You guys do not do credit repair. No, I feel like I that's, a, that's like a dirty word. What you really do is you, you help people make a credit plan. I mean, is that a, is that a good way to, to phrase it? it? It's absolutely a credit plan. And half the time and half the battle is when people come in to see me, they don't want to look at their credit. The, the, the biggest challenge is, okay, let's, hey, let's just sit down. Let's do it. And it's, it's like if you haven't been to the doctor in five years and you're afraid to go because you're afraid of what's wrong. The dentist. Oh, yeah. It's like the, the dentist. dentist yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so let's go to the dentist together and, and let's print out your credit report. Let's see where you're at. You might not even be as bad as you think. I mean, a lot of people come in and they, I just don't want to see it, Justin. I can't stand the thought of looking at it. And I pull it up. I'm like, you have great credit. This is fantastic. Uh, so half the battle is first. Let's print it out. Look at it. See what's wrong. Sometimes there are mistakes. Sometimes there are errors that you can fix. Or sometimes we just have to come up with a plan for getting some balances down, uh, canceling some things, whatever we have to do to come up with a plan. And then my client is going to be embarrassed when they come back a month later and the credit is not better. There's some accountability is what it's it is. Accountability is huge. And I think, too, if you're out there and you've, you've been wanting to get in the housing market and you're intimidated by it, you're scared of it, your first call should be to these guys at Gregory and Clark. Sign up for Under One Roof. Now you put an ally in your corner from day one before you go see the mortgage guys and the realtors, and that's really key. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Behind the Law with Justin Clark. But if you still have any questions, don't wait for next week's show. Just give the offices of Gregory and Clark a call right now at 321-282-1055. They've got the answer. And don't forget to tune in next week for our continued discussion on the Under One Roof program with Justin Clark and Robert Palmer right here on TV 27. Thank you for watching Behind the Law with Justin Clark. Be sure to join us again next week as Justin takes you behind the law and answers your legal questions.